Our host, Your Excellency President Hichilema, Excellencies, President of African Union Member States, Excellency, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Excellencies, First Ladies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. This is a year of milestones for the continent. 20 years ago, the African Union was founded, taking over from the OAU. Ten years ago, our blueprint for sustainable development and economic growth, Agenda 2063, was conceptualized. One year ago, African countries, along with other United Nations member states, adopted the political declaration on HIV and AIDS, committing to end inequalities and to get on track to end AIDS by 2030. These milestones are commitments made to Africa's young people. They are commitments on gender equality and the empowerment of African girls and women. We are making progress in Africa, but not fast enough. We need to urgently address the gender inequalities that still plague the continent with devastating impacts on poor girls and young women. We don't have a minute to wait. Every week, 4,200 adolescent girls and young women in Sub-Saharan Africa are infected with HIV. 4,200 every week. Six out of seven new infections among adolescents aged between 15 and 19 are among girls. Six out of seven of our teenagers who are infected are girls. This is a huge injustice. Yet we know that when a girl completes secondary education, her risk of HIV infection is reduced by up to 50%. And yet, millions, millions of girls do not get secondary school education. Before COVID-19, there were more than 34 million girls in Africa who were out of school. Millions more dropped out during COVID. Many have not returned. That is why I'm excited to join you today on yet another significant milestone. This is the continental launch of the Education Plus Initiative. In 10 African countries, Benin, Cameroon, Eswatini, Gabon, Gambia, Lesotho, Malawi, Sierra Leone, South Africa and Uganda, and soon to be 11 when Zambia joins. The governments, with support of the African Union, donors, civil society, girls and women's movements, and us in the UN, these governments are putting in place the right policies and stepping up investments to guarantee free secondary education for all children. They are creating violence-free school environments, providing sexuality education that is appropriate, and introducing effective school-to-work transitions for adolescent girls. This is what we call the Education Plus Initiative. It is a movement that is spreading across Africa to protect our girls from HIV infection, from sexual violence, from teenage pregnancies and early marriages, and it will empower them for brighter futures where they can realize their full potential. I wish to thank very much Her Excellency the First Lady of Zambia, Madam Mutinta Hashilema, and her colleagues, the First Ladies of Oflad, for embracing this initiative, Education Plus. 
UNAIDS recognizes the historic role of OFLAD and of the African Union in the fight against HIV in Africa. Lastly, it's my privilege to introduce my four UN colleagues, the executive directors of UN Women, UNFPA, UNESCO, and UNICEF. The five of us have come together to support the Education Plus initiative in all the implementing countries. Working together with you, we can all end discriminatory laws and harmful social norms so that our girls are healthy, educated and empowered and can lead our continent Africa forward. Viva Africa, viva!